Hi guys, welcome. Can you say hi? Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Look, people can see you. What do you say? Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. We'll wait for a few of you to get on, but first of all, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. You're in our house. Hopefully you're watching from your house where you can be safe because I know how frustrating it's been maybe staying indoors, um, especially if you live in an area where you don't have a yard, but we've been fortunate enough where we've been playing a lot in our garage and on our driveway and around on our street. So we've been able to get outside, but we haven't been able to go to our favorite playgrounds because our city is completely shut down and we're not allowed to. So we're gonna get started. First off, my name's Meredith Campbell, and this is? Christian Campbell. Christian, and come over here. What is your name? Oliver. Oliver. So Christian and Oliver are joining us today. This is gonna be a workout for moms and kids or parents with kids, or maybe you are not a mom and you need some ideas for moving your kids around in the yard. So I'm gonna give you some ideas to do outside and inside, but we've also um, set up our little gym today inside just in case you have a rainy day or it's too cold to get some fresh air. There's a lot of really fun things you can do. Please don't do that. Please, please don't. Just come stand next to me. You're not being a good listener. There's a lot of fun things you can do inside or outside, right? A lot of fun games that we're playing to stay active and to stay healthy. And what is one of the things that we've done that has really worked so far, like the schedule wise? What, what's one of your favorite activities? We have, well, I'll, can I tell them one of the ones that I like? We have a virtual recess group that we started with some mm -hmm. of our friends that are, we live in South Florida, so some of our friends are in South Florida, and some of our friends are in different parts of the country. So if you're interested in joining a virtual recess group, please reach out to me. Um, you can find me at Meredith Campbell Fitness on Instagram, and I can invite you to the group. It's a free resource group, and there's also a lot of fun free fitness kid videos in there. But let me give you some ideas of some things to do. So to go outside, there's a lot of fun things you can do. You can play tag, you can ride your bike. What else? Play tennis. Play tennis on the street. We haven't really, we don't really have a net, so we're just kind of hitting the ball around. What else? Uh, basketball. basketball. Basketball, what else? Chalk. Chalk. Chalk is always a great way. You can draw, color, do hopscotch, do different fun games and boxes, and just get outside and let your inner child be creative with your kids. That's the easiest thing that I can tell you to do. Now some games for inside. What's some fun games for inside? We've done obstacle courses. I know I've seen that going around the internet where you literally have like a little obstacle course for your little people. It might be a pile of pillows with some arrows drawing to the next thing and you have to jump over a box and then you have to climb up and go underneath a loop or you know just some things that you can use in your house it does take a little bit more time preparation but i think it's a really fun thing to do especially if you're inside building forts is a great way to do um, some games too dance parties that's one of my favorite ways to get into activities do you like dance parties no what they do. So we've been working out with daddy in the garage. Normally daddy goes to the gym during his lunch break, but he's working from home. So we've all been working out in the garage um, when daddy lifts weights. And what's the one thing that mommy does? I do videos. I do videos. I play music and then we have a dance party, right? And we do videos. Remember we were like dancing like this and doing all our crazy dances? Yes, we were. You could check my Instagram stories. It's up there. Um, some other fun free fitness ideas. There's a lot of great kids videos out there. I know um, I'm affiliated with Beachbody. I've been a master trainer with them for 15 years and a coach for 12. And they have a, all of their arsenal of workout videos for children and families are completely free. You don't need a um, credit card or a login. You can just go to their website and start using them. But there's a lot of free resources out there. I think one thing that is really important is that you just tap into it and have a schedule. Like we've been doing two and a half hour recesses <laughs> because I like activity and we kind of break it up where we do a little bit of walking and running and riding bikes and then 
we do some other fun stuff in that too. But we do have a good amount of time where we stay active throughout the day because I think this is a really important time um, to just keep happy and, and movement brings, um, is, is medicinal. It's movement is something that is so empowering, empowering and can change you um, multiple different ways and lift your mood. So let's get going guys. You wanna start with the first one? Come on, let's come on over to our mat. So we're gonna do our virtual recess inside today. What's the first one we're gonna do? Hey Alexa, play. We're going on a bear hunt. Come on. We're going to catch a bear. Everybody gotta march. I'm not scared. So this is a bear hunt. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Uh oh. Uh oh. Grass. Grass. Long wavy grass. Long wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through. Okay, we have to cut the grass with our arms, right? Swish, 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 swish. Did you see that grass? Oh, really? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're going to catch a big one. I'm not scared. Are you scared? A tall duck for it. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. We'll have to go through it. How do we go through the forest? Stumble, stumble, trip. Stumble, stumble, trip. Stumble, stumble, trip. Stumble, stumble, trip. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're going to catch a big one. I'm not scared. What a beautiful day. Oh, what, what a beautiful, beautiful day. day. Uh oh, uh oh. Mud. Mud. Big. Ooh, ooh, mud. Ooh, ooh, mud. Ooh, ooh, mud. Ooh. Go over it. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Okay, ready? How do we go through the mud? All the way out. Four. All the way out. 
all the way back. Ooh, a 
a whale. I see shark. A shark? No way. Oh man, let's swim faster. Get your wings flapping, Oliver. Good job. Hold on to your feet. Hold on to your feet. Flap your wings. Flap your wings. Flap your wings. Okay, and then let's come all the way up. Shh. I think I saw a mermaid when we were down there. Okay, now we. I saw a crab on the You saw a crab? Okay, now we have to fly all the way up to the moon. This is going to be a long journey, so let's put our turbo boosters on. Go, fly, 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 fly. You're already there? What did you see? You just got there? Yeah, because I had a million miles. Oh, alright. I saw a bunch of stars and they look like crazy white lights. Well, I did went a million miles per second, so I already saw it. I passed the sun and I'm at space. You're past the sun and you're at the space? Oh, wow. What did you see? Stars. Stars and the sun? Did you see lava? Because lava was on the sun. Oh, alright. Okay, let's go back home because we got some more exercises to do. And, okay, let's come all the way on our hands and knees. So we're gonna do some yoga inspired cat animal poses. So first we're on our hands and knees and we're gonna round our back all the way up. Does anybody know what pose this is? Cat pose. Cat pose. So arch your back all the way up. And then let your belly come all the way down and look up to the ceiling. Which one is this? Dog pose. This one's cow. And this one's cat. And this one's cow. And this one's cat. Perfect. And now let's come all the way. Let's come all the way down to our. That's so they can. They get angry. Okay. Let's come all the way down into our belly. So the next pose we're going to do is, excuse me, you, no, we're not going to do tooting. Excuse me, no, 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 no. The next pose we're going to do is, no, it's not farting. The next pose we're going to do is, you ready? Line pose. Okay, the next pose we're going to do is a snake pose, but you have to lay all the way down. It's called Cobra, where we lift all okay, the way up. Where they go like yes. And all the way down. Ready, lift up. And all the way down. It could be a purple snake. It could be a purple snake. Ooh, I like purple snakes. Here we go. And all the way down. And one more. And now we tuck our toes under and we're going to lift our butt all the way to the ceiling and make a down dog pose. Down dog. Yeah, that's a puppy pose, Christian. Good job. Oh, I'm going to put my butt on Oh my God. What happened to your butt? Get your butt up to the ceiling. I'm so high. Your butt went so Oh, why? Oh. Okay, butt. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, your butt goes all the way back up to the ceiling. Excuse me, who's doing this? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, ready? Walk your hands all the way back to your feet and roll all the way up. So we're going to stand with our feet together. Okay, excuse me. Good listeners, please. Feet together. Feet together. Christian, feet together. Ollie, feet together. Hands facing forward, just like this. Palms facing forward, yep. And have them by your sides and stand up nice and tall. This is our mountain pose. Mountain pose. Okay, now we're gonna mountain lift our arms like all the way up. This is mountain pose. All the way up, stand up nice and tall, all the way up, just Whoa. like this. And we're going to take one leg and stand on one leg so you're making a tree. And start to wave your tree side. Just like, can you balance? Oliver, are you being too silly? Oliver, be a good listener. Okay, let's try it on the other side. 
Okay, don't get hurt. Ready? Stand up nice and tall. Tree pose on the other side. Wave your hands side to side. Side to side. Excuse me. Be careful. Woo, side to side. Okay, now who can take their hands and wrap one hand under the other, just like this? Let me see. So you're going to take your elbows and you're going to cross them. Yep. And then your hands go together, just like that. Like, this is hard. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's stand up on the mat. Oliver, can you get the pink weights? Um, so another thing that I've been doing that's been very helpful um, for my children is just teaching them different body parts and what that body part does. So teaching them like just generalize, like these are your shoulders, this is your bicep muscle, this is your tricep muscle, and this is your abs and your core, this is your back and your legs, your, your quads, your, and so I just kind of go through the little body parts with them and then I give them um, the, the little weights that I have are three pounds and I try to teach them fun exercises that they can do to either follow along with me or follow along with my husband. So let's stand on up. So Oliver, can you stand with the weights? Can you show us? Okay, stand up straight. Can you show us how you do bicep curls? Do you remember how to do those? So, do you remember where your bicep muscle is? Remember we talked about those yesterday? Yeah. And what's this muscle? Which, what's this what part of the body is this? For, is, it, is it your shoulders? Yeah. So, who knows whether, yeah, that's called your tricep. Remember we did that? So, this week we've been talking about upper body. And your belly. And your belly. So, how do we do a bicep muscle? You remember we go strong and down. We lift it all the way up and all the way down. You ready, Ollie? Let's see it. Ready? You show us. Yes. Here, go show us the two weights. Ready? So oh, these are two oh, pound oh. weights. One and down. Two and down. Three and down. And you're going to show us the bicep muscles. Ready? Here we go. And one and down. Two and down. Three, four, five, Six, seven, nice job, eight. Okay, good work. Ten, All right, 11. let's sit down on the floor and let's let's stretch a little okay. bit more and mommy's gonna talk. Ollie, can you sit down and stretch? Okay. Oh, you wanna do Superman flies? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I think one of the challenging parts being a, a mom and working with your children is that your kids probably don't listen to you as much as they would to somebody else. So that's where your patience comes into play. Sometimes following a video and just being like, this is what we're doing, we have to follow the video. It's so much easier than directing them yourself. Um, so we've been kind of playing around, but these, I hope these are really good ideas for you to do at home. Okay, who can show me the Superman fly? You ready? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All the way down. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now make a little tiny ball, like a little rock on the floor. Like this? Yep, just like that. And when I tap your head, that's when you're going to stand all the way up. I'm gonna let them calm down and be quiet for a little bit. But children, just like adults, we need to shake our sillies out. We need to get out. We need to get a little bit of fresh air. So if you're able to go for a walk or exercise, do it. If you are confined in your home, there's a lot of fun ways. Always reach out to me if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Um, my name is Meredith Campbell, and you can find me at Meredith Campbell Fitness. Thank you for jumping on, and um, we'll see you guys later.